In this video, I'm going to add the sites for the Samaritan. As you can see, I've already added some primitives just to sort of give us a kickstart in this video. So first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and size this down uh, to the right width. And in this case, I have a little overhang, a little underhang here. So that's pretty close to where I want it to be. I don't want to move this off center because everything is built around the actual true world axis. This image is just slightly off center. I want to position this where the end of that um, bevel is. And then I'm going to go to edges, marquee select everything, and then just deselect the pieces I don't want. I'm just going to turn off reflection too. Now I only had those two edges selected. Then I'd pull bevel, ends right at the right place, looks good. Uh, do the same thing for faces, just deselect the faces I don't want. Shift right click and do extrude. The bevel was under a shift right click as well. And then come over here and grab my verts and just pull those up. I want them to be inset but not quite that much so something like that looks a lot better I'll just go ahead and get this aligned with the side view so here you can see the the real difference in um, perspective so the front view is obviously the very a very reliable view in terms of what this thing needs to look like in height but the side has this curvature and we want to match the curve here we can't trust the height of this but we can trust the curve here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select this uh, top face right there because the curve only happens on this skinny piece right here it doesn't happen on this block piece I'll go back to the side view and I'm going to use the cut um, faces tool in the interactive mode and just drop a couple lines I'm just going to hold the shift key down so it maintains a perfectly straight line in this case that doesn't matter that much but um, okay now temporarily I'll just move this down where I can match that curve a little bit easier so something like this I'm just going to go ahead and hold V down and snap that down and then move this one down to still maintain a bit of a curve. I don't want it to look like a real straight line through here. So maybe I'll even offset this forward a little bit, something like that. And <clears throat> this edge up here doesn't actually curve in quite as much as what it looks like it does here. And on the other reference I've, I've looked at, it's a lot more sort of just a small bevel across here. So I'm going to treat this one with a bevel. That would probably be fine, but I could potentially just come in here and just maybe add one more segment with a virtual slider, just middle click and drag, and then maybe even offset that a bit um, just to get the right size. So something like that looks pretty good right there. So I'll go back to the front view and just move this back up to where it was supposed to be. Again, just leaving that slightly interpenetrated. Uh, take a look at it from the perspective here. Okay, I think it's looking good, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up. And in this case, uh, the cleanup of this is just going to be delete the face that's inside. Never going to see it, so it doesn't matter. And then just make sure um, I merge in anything that needs to be merged. In this case, nothing needed to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a soften harden on this and uh, just double check my angle. So 35, maybe I'll go to 45 or something like that. And that looks good. This front one still didn't, um, still didn't smooth out. Um, which is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and handle that manually. Let's go ahead and soften that. That way the light goes continuously over that like that. Okay, so that looks good for the front sight. The back sight here, I'm going to need to add some spans on this. So I need some new geometry in this direction. So I'll just try to use my history and subdivisions width. And this is something you'll see with history uh, a lot of times. It's no, no surprise here. So basically what's happening is if you have repositioned the object using the, the components or done anything to the components, history becomes basically useless after you do component level um, tweaks. So I, I could use this, and in this case this is a simple enough object that I could just snap align this down and that would basically work. But I'll just show another another way to deal with that which would be the insert edge loop tool using the multiple edge loops here. Just click like that and that just evenly distributes that geometry across this. So it looks uh, basically exactly like what I would want it to look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and start making this look like what the reference looked like, which is basically just angles up and, and from both sides and then from the back as well. And these are on a little bit of a curve, but I think I can get away uh, without having to do the curves here. So I'll go ahead and turn on my reflection and just save a little bit of geometry there. And I'll just push this down, not all the way, it's, it's like it has a, pretty much a block in there, that um, so it's kind of sitting on a block. Um, now I want to move this face down, but notice now if I try to do that, I end up with totally the wrong look. So what I want to do is add some new 
uh, spans in here again. So just shift right click, choose equal or relative in this case doesn't matter and just drop those on. I want them to taper in a little bit so I'm leaving a bit of an offset on these. I'll grab the face and then just push that face down. So something like this. And this face maybe should just snap even with this outside piece here. Uh, again like it's on that block. And I'm just going to take a look at this from the front now. So I think the back looks like it's supposed to be a little bit wider but I think this might be a little bit excessive. So I'm just going to grab those and sort of just taper them in a bit. Uh, maybe something like that is a little more accurate for what it's supposed to be. Um, I'm not, I'm honestly I'm not sure exactly how wide that's supposed to be but something like that's probably uh, probably close enough. So I'm um, about ready to go ahead and whoops I isolated selected some vertices which I don't want. I want the whole object so I just isolate it select again. And what I want to do here is just get rid of these bottom faces. I'll just select those, press delete, and then from the front here, uh, it's a little easier just to make the selection. Notice now I have all these verts that are ending on this edge that basically they're not changing anything about the form. I don't want those kinds of edges, so I'm just going to delete those out. So that should now give me big fat end gons to deal with, uh, which in this case is no big deal. And I do want this thing to feel like it's on, a, on that block, so I'm going to use the interactive split tool and let me make sure first uh, which side I'm actually looking at. Uh, this looks like it is the uh, front of this, which I don't want. I want the back. Uh, so I'm going to use the interactive split and just go from there to there, and then from there to there. And then what I'm going to basically do is just move these edges in to get that, that bevel. So something like that. And then it looks like um, this should actually be considerably shorter than it ended up being here. So I'm just going to pull these down to about the right height. Whatever feels right. They should be shorter than the front one just to take into consideration the perspective shift that's happening. Okay, so let me look at this from the side to get a sense of um, if my angle is even close to right. Not perfect. Um, it's not awful, but it's not perfect either. Having a hard time getting that vertex. There we go. Um, so something like that. Okay, I'll just do a soften harden on that. That's looking pretty good. I think these should probably be hardened edges here, and so maybe my soften harden angle is just a little bit too high. So that looks about like what I'd want that to look like. I'll just go ahead and uh, make sure that everything's cleaned up here. Actually, those 45s are um, the 45s are just too too strong for the soft and hard. And so if I set this back down to something like 30, um, that ought to work on this. So that rehardened those edges. Everything now looks the way I want. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think that's uh, that's enough for the sites. And I'm going to go ahead and do another video with the hammer and the clasp.